welcome to my new education today i am going to discuss about weight and volume relationship of rock these weight and volume relationships are very much important to find out the various properties of rocks like porosity void ratio and specific gravity we know specific gravity is a very important property in our mining industry to dive into this chapter first we need to know the definition of porous what is meant by porous porous within a rock or solid is defined as the interspaces present within the rock usually these interspaces are filled with air in dry condition but sometimes water or any other liquid may enter into these interspaces and these water or liquid may alter the physical or chemical properties of the rock most of the times porous or property is associated with uh, unconsolidated rock or soil present over the earth crust and this chapter is very much important in the gate exam point of view also about two questions will be from this chapter so hope you guys will enjoy this lecture thank you now you can see this picture this picture represents a rock and these were the crystals present within the rock this is a crystal this is a crystal and usually a rock is made up of crystals or some other building materials and these were the spaces present between those crystals you can see these spaces this one this one and this one there is a major difference between these spaces start now there were two types of interspaces present between these crystals the first type is it uh, connected spaces and the second type is isolated voids you can see here these voids present between the crystals are interconnected that is there is a connection between those voids here you can see this void this void is an isolated one similarly this void is an isolated one so there is no interconnection between this void and this void so this void is called isolated voids and this void is called interconnected voids interconnected voids allows the liquid to flow the to flow through the rock next here you can see this diagram this diagram represents the three phases like the solid solid phase water phase and air phase present within the rock you can see this much volume of a rock or any other substance is occupied by solids and this much of volume is occupied by water and this much volume is occupied by air this uh, this is not a definite diagram but i am representing it picture you can see this va represents the volume of air volume of vw represents the volume of water and vs represents the volume of solid next i will uh, derive formula for uh, porosity and various other properties first to derive those properties first we need to sorry okay now let us consider v be the volume of this solid so v is equal to va plus vw plus vs you can see here this va represents the volume of air vw represents the volume of water and vs represents the volume occupied by solid in the volume occupied by solid grains in the solid now if you talk about the weight or mass let us consider the mass of this solid is m then m is equal to mass of solid plus mass of water do we need to include air no because the mass of air is very negligible so we neglect that mass of air so these were the two formulas now i am going to discuss about porosity porosity is defined as the volume of voids to the 
total volume of the substance porosity porosity is equal to volume of voids to the volume of the substance this is a very important definition next i am going to discuss about void ratio void ratio is defined as void ratio is equal to volume of voids to the volume occupied by solids volume of voids to the total volume of substance and this one is volume occupied by the voids to the volume occupied by solid space this is the void ratio now we will derive a relationship between porosity and void ratio let us suppose porosity is defined by p and void ratio by e this is a very important relationship we know that porosity is equal to volume of void to the total volume of the substance now we will write the total volume of substance as volume of solids plus volume of voids and now we will divide this volume of uh, now we will uh, divide the numerator and denominator denominator with volume of solids 1 plus vv by vs we know that this uh, the definition of void ratio is volume of voids to the volume of the solids so we will substitute that in, in this uh, in the place of this so plus e so porosity is equal to void ratio to the 1 plus void ratio p is equal to e divided by 1 plus e this is the relationship now i will discuss about discuss about two types of density bulk density bulk density we can say it is as normal density bulk density is defined as the mass of the substance to the volume occupied by the substance you can see this is a solid and this solid has a certain mass of sorry malle valle vastam enga enga cut cheyi atla pothare malle cut chestunna nanu okay now this is a substance or a rock this rock occupies a certain volume of v and this has a mass of m and we are defining this as a bulk density this is m by v next i am discussing about grain density grain density is defined as the mass of solid divided by the volume occupied by the so in this two concept we need to focus on the this part substance and solid here substance refers to the crystals sorry substance refers to the this entire substance whereas solid refers to the mass of these crystals and volume occupied by these crystals not by substance so this volume occupied by the solids is the volume of these volume occupied by these crystals and this void space is not included in this volume so this is the major difference between the grain density and the bulk density this concept grain density concept is very much important because we pulverize the material after mining so we focus on both of these densities bulk density and grain density mm -hmm. next i am going to discuss about specific gravity and unit weight specific gravity specific gravity is defined as the grain density to the density of the water grain density or density of the solid to the density of the water Unit weight. 
unit weight is defined as the weight of solid which occupies a certain amount of volume. So let us suppose this much is the volume and weight of the solid present within that volume is defined as the unit weight. So this is unit weight, weight by volume. We define this by gap is equal to W by B. We know that W is equal to M into G divided by B. We know that M by V, this is the solid. This is the weight of the solid. So here it will be the mass of the solid and this is the angular of gravity and this one is the volume. And we define this as rho into G. This rho is the bulk density, not the grain density. Don't confuse this ever because there is a difference between the grain density and bulk density. So rho into G, gamma is equal to rho into G.